A sparse matrix is a matrix that is filled up with large number of zeros. If otherwise the matrix has large number of non-zero elements, then we say that it's a non-sparse matrix. That means we can consider this example in order to understand what a sparse matrix is. In this M cross N, that means 6 cross 5 matrix, uh, only 4 elements, this one, this one, and this one, and this one, are non-zero elements, and all the other elements are zero elements. Such a matrix is called a sparse matrix. Now, in order to represent such a matrix in computer's memory, the traditional data structure could be a 2D array. But uh, as we can see that most of the elements are zero, we can represent this sparse matrix uh, in with a single dimension array, one dimension array, and that can save us lots of memory. Now, in order to represent this sparse matrix linearly with one dimensional array, we consider a triplet such that uh, it's going to store the row index, the column index, and the value for all the non-zero elements. Now we are going, going to represent only the non-zero elements in one dimensional array and obviously all the other elements which are zeros uh, need not to be represented at all because they are considered as zero. So we are going to represent only the non-zero elements. So we can consider a structure something like this in order to represent this triplet. So this SP element structure represents a single non-zero element in one dimensional array that contains the row index, the column index and the value. So we can declare a sparse matrix array something like this. Now this SP matrix array with size size which is the size of num which is the number of non-zero elements actually. So for this example it's the size going to be 4. Uh, each element of this SP matrix array is SP element. That means if we try to draw it, it will be something like this. The first element is going to contain the row index and column index and the value for first non-zero element of the sparse matrix. That's this one. The row index of this 5 is 0. The column index of this is 0, 1, 2, 3 and the value is 5. For the second non-zero element that is this one, the row index is 1, the column index is 0 and the value is 2. And for the third non-zero element that is this one, the row index is 3, the column index is 4 and the value is 3. And the fourth one is the row index is 4, the column index is 1, and the value is 9. So this SP matrix array is actually representing this 6 cross 5 sparse matrix. And all the other elements that we are not representing with this linear representation are zeros. So we can only represent the non-zero elements which are uh, having its uh, in row index and column index and obviously we can deal with the matrix if we represent in this way but there is a constraint now when we can represent this sparse matrix linearly uh, obviously when it's going to save us memory then only we can represent the sparse matrix linearly otherwise we should not follow this way now what's the calculation for that let's look up at that The traditional 2D uh, representation of the sparse matrix is going to cost us m cross n into size of element this much amount of memory. Now if we are representing the sparse matrix with uh, one dimensional array then uh, it's if there are n non-zero elements then for n non-zero elements the size of the one dimensional array is going to be something like what we are doing we are representing the row index the column index and the element. So if the row index and column index they are integers so there are two integer requirements and plus we need a size to represent the element itself. So if we consider the size of the integer element as 8, then it's 8 plus size of element. So this is the size of one dimensional array. Now representing the sparse matrix in one dimensional array or with one dimensional array is beneficial only if the size of the one dimensional array is less than the size of two dimensional array. That means this particular condition is satisfied. Now we can further go forward 
and uh, check it out in this way that if we consider that the size of elements each element as integer element then uh, we can just simplify this uh, for the simplest case uh, so the considering the element each element as in integer it's uh, going to be 12 as size of each integer is 12 as we have considered here so n cross 12 should be less than m cross n into 4 we are considering remember that we are considering each element integer element so finally we land here that means if the total number of elements in non-zero elements in sparse matrix is less than is less than one third of the dimension of the uh, sparse matrix then only it's beneficial to represent the sparse matrix linearly with one dimensional array otherwise it's going to cost more that means it's going to consume more memory Now, if the sparse matrix is represented linearly with one dimensional array, then this algorithm can display it formally. Uh, it's a simple algorithm, and we have considered that the sparse matrix, while represented with one dimensional array, uh, it's uh, actually sorted on the row index number and then column index number. It's important. We have considered that the 1D array is sorted on r index and then on column index so this is a simple algorithm that can uh, display that sparse matrix uh, formally in 2d uh, tabular format uh, so we are having uh, this for loop that's uh, going from i is equal to 0 to m minus 1 m is the number of rows and this is the column variation from say is equal to 0 to n minus 1 where n is the number of columns uh, we have considered that uh, zero index uh, uh, array and if the kth element of the 1d array uh, that's uh, row index is matching with i and the column index of the kth element of uh, this 1d array is matching with j then we are printing the value and we are incrementing k to the next element and otherwise uh, the element is not available that means it's going to print zero so if there is a mismatch of row index and column index that means the or column index and that means the uh, particular uh, element does not exist or contains zero so we are printing zero so after printing a single uh, row what we are doing here we are uh, printing the new line so this is a simple algorithm that can uh, represent that can display the sparse matrix in tabular format we can uh, just uh, write a transpose algorithm in, or in order to display the transpose of the sparse matrix if represented in one dimensional array in this way it's a simple algorithm we just need to traverse the column first then the row so it's a simple algorithm where we are going from j is equal to 0 to n minus 1 and then from i is equal to 0 to m minus 1 uh, and here we are again comparing the row indexes and the column indexes with the values i and j and then displaying the value of the particular element and if the value is if the element is not available then we are just displaying zero so we are going to the next line on completing uh, each column so this is a, a simple algorithm in order to uh, display the transpose of the sparse matrix if represented with one dimensional array